Hey guys, hope everybody is doing really, really, really well. Um, today I've got some sort of viewer sendings or, or gifts from friends or swaps. And I also have two Guess the Price winner reveals. So it's going to be a bit of a chocker blocker video. Right, so let's get on it without further ado. Um, I got some amazing stickers, absolutely amazing stickers in the post uh, yesterday uh, from Tommy Gun Tools. Um, there'll be a link below to one of his amazing restorations on his fantastic uh, vice he's just done. So I recommend you go over and check that out if you haven't already. Did a really wonderful job on a restoration. He also sent me um, some Klein stickers um, and also, uh, <laughs> which I think is brilliant, um, the world has enough guys, be a man. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? So so I love these stickers. So obviously any channel who does a sticker swap um, will be able to get one of Tommy's off me if you're in Europe. Helps with the postage if you can post five at once rather than just posting one and stuff. Um, so Tommy, thank you for them stickers. Let's have a look at the sticker board and see what they look like on there. So there we are, Tommy. Your sticker is with T-Rexes and Tool Addicts. It's in good company. So we got uh, the uh, Be A Man sticker, which is brilliant, and uh, Tommy Gun Tools. Don't forget to check his channel out. So thanks for the stickers. The sticker board is coming along pretty nice. So let's move on with the show. Right, so, yep, those stickers will go in the sticker drawer with all the other stickers available for other channels to do a swap if they want to fill their sticker board up. I think I'll stick that one somewhere else in a minute. Um, <clears throat> the next thing I want to move on to, uh, which is no further ado, is these absolutely amazing level um, and Stanley Odd Job. If you don't know what this is, um, this is a Stanley Odd Job. Very, very cool. You could obviously mark at a 45 degree. If you turn it round, you've got a depth gauge to measure a depth gauge with a set screw. It normally has a scribe, um, which comes out there for marking. Um, it's a very, very cool tool. Um, I believe this was the first ever stool, uh, tool Stanley ever made originally. And um, this isn't their first one. This is their, I think this is their second version of this tool, but it's the Stanley number one and it's their first ever tool. Um, this will probably go into another video at another time. I did a swap from my good friend Forrest Blythe, uh, Graham, who makes the hand planes. I did a little swap for one of my wrenches. Um, so he because he, uh, he wanted it for his collection and he kindly gave me these two beautiful items which I really really treasure super happy about those Um obviously um, yeah really cool so nice items so thank you for doing a swap Graham you're a gentleman and a scholar and I really love these items very very cool stand the odd job Um very cool that the next thing is <laughs> I bought some spanners which is on the guest of price this video and in it um, so Jim went and bought two books completely full, Book and Hickman books, completely full of tools, calipers, all sorts of exciting things. Um, and I um, really, I've not even had a look at 10% of it. Tells you all power tools, um, um, ratchets, uh, wrenches, um, all sorts of really cool stuff. Look at these vices, Samsononi, I've got one of those in the workshop. A number a number a seven inch one open seven inch so it can tell you the prices that's 14 pounds and uh, 14 shillings 10 pence super cool and um, tells you all the prices ball peens hammers and I'm, I'm over the moon with these books and he actually sent me two two books indeed so I recommend you guys if you're uh, like tool books to look at Book and Hickman on eBay. These don't go for all that much money and they have all sorts of really cool, look at those um, cool calipers and all the rest of it. I'll show you the other book now. This is the second book he sent me and in this book I found some really cool stuff. I mean, look at this here. Um, let's zoom in on it. We've got this um, <laughs> Baco nail puller, the original, and we've got the uh, Baco uh, axe which came in different sizes. Um, there was a 40, 41 and a 42. Um, and um, really, really cool. Tells you the weights, tells you the sizes and the prices. Really, really cool indeed. 
So there's three backhoe axes for me to collect. Does anybody think I'll be able to do it in the comments? Let me know if, you th if you've got faith. Um, this book was even more amazing. Hand saws, tells you the prices per dozen. I think this was actually for the, the shop originally. Um, this one's got some amazing tools in it. Um, absolutely fantastic. Tells you pillar drills, unbelievable stuff. I'm trying to find, um, here we go. Look at those pliers. We've got, um, I've got a set of those. World War II barbed wire. This this book is from 1934, so it's pre-World War II. But they were selling barbed wire cutters there. These are, I think, are these footprint. I'm sure I sent a pair very similar to that for John Fix. Um, very, very similar. So they're barbed wire cutters, John. Um, <clears throat> very, very cool indeed. So lots and lots of things to look at i think i'll do a video on these i have found some absolutely amazing stuff in here i mean look at those pillar drills um pipe cutters um all different pipe cutters and sizes um really really cool and there's a big section on wrenches which i was hoping to find let me uh come back when i found them look at this guys we found um uh, ridged planes we've got millers falls planes block planes i mean it's amazing what they sold in england in the 1930s i think millers falls all sorts of stuff stanley uh six oh millers falls 67 we've got stanley planes there we've got a number uh 101 i mean what i find really amazing is is the amount of tools i actually have in these books i mean for instance there's a stanley 101 and there it is in real life. So in 1934, they were selling this little miniature uh, 101 plane. And I just find it absolutely fascinating. I mean, I've probably got six of the planes on this page. Just very, very cool indeed. So I need to get a, a number 100 at some point. So very, very cool. Very, very cool indeed. Um, and it just amazes me, the block planes... All the different sizes, the different handles from the 30s. The, um, just amazing. Really amazing. Uh, perfect handle screwdrivers. It just goes on, look. Beautiful um, hexagonal boxwood handles there. London pattern. It just goes on and on. Miller's Falls. I mean, I have found some Miller's Falls stuff. Um, and I do have some stuff. Look at all these beautiful... Um, beautiful hand planes i mean i've probably got six on this page of these hand planes i just find it super interesting um super duper interesting really let me see if i can find one on that page um is this one on that page i think that is that one there so what number is it has it got a number a number 53 yeah so there we go that's the number 53 from that page have we got any other ones? Let's have a look. Is that's uh, which ones are that one? This one is what's this one? Number fifty one. Is that one for sale? This is a fifth. There we go. So that's your number fifty one there. Plain. So it's that one. Fifty one, and this is the uh, number fifty fifty three. I just think it's amazing to show you the, the different tools and very, very cool. So, Jim, thank you so much for that. I really, 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 really like um, this this book. It's amazing. It's got some, it shows you, look at all these axes, handles, amazing stuff. And I did find, which I was trying to find before, um, which I think I'll come back again. Right, guys, so this is my favourite part of the book, which I absolutely love. Uh, I've just found it. This, for instance, here we've got the alligator type. So we've got six inch, an eight inch and a 12 inch sold in the UK. I've never, ever seen the 12 inch. Super, super rare. But this, for instance, is the six inch and this is the eight inch. So you can imagine then the 12 inch would be quite long up to here. So I just find these books absolutely super, super cool. Then we've got the standard uh, normal degree angle with the thick piping edging. So, for instance, here we've got a six inch version of that, and then we've got the eight inch version of that. Um, very, very cool. And here we got like the four inch, 
and then obviously here we got the uh, 10 inch so we've got the the different sizes and it tells you here that they go up from a four inch which is this one six eight ten which is here and then goes 12 14 18 goes all the way up to 30 inches i have the full set of all of them and um, so very 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 cool indeed so this is the original design of this one so this is 1934 so these are 90 years old this design as you can see sold and then we have the offset design which is very cool for instance there that's the number 81 and this is an 82 so obviously they they show the different sizes of the off 45 degree angle head as well so like this is an 81 and i've got the i've got the 81 and 82 all the way up to the uh, 30 inch so i just thought thank you jim that was really really cool to look back at the different um different history and stuff i mean the amazing stuff the workbenches it goes on and on so book and hickman they're about 10 or 15 pounds on on ebay you can pick them up um jim said not to tell you that because you go and buy them all before we've had the chance but i tell everybody what i buy and i tell them what i pay and everyone can find the items and i don't hide secrets i don't tell you know anything different so if you're interested um book and hickman books they're like two how thick is it let's have a look it's like three inches, three inches thick, full of tools from 1934. Absolutely amazing. Thank you, Jim, for that. Right, let's move on to guess the price now. Right, guys, we'll move on now <coughs> to the item tool hauls. Guess the price. Let's see who was the clever clogs on the guessing uh, this this last two lots. So, <coughs> so basically, without further ado, let's take a look. So basically. The first lot was this um, multi-set. There was a big sign saying Ingersoll Rand, which I bought from my friend's workshop. Um, and that was £80, the big Ingersoll Rand sign. I also bought this for £30 off him. This little um, side side cutter or whatever, a little small side plane. Uh, very, very cool indeed. So I bought that for £30. So I ended up giving him £110, which is really, really good. Um also, I bought this Robinson wrench for £11.80, including the postage, which I thought was a bargain. That's why I bought it. Um, I bought this massive double-ended 10-inch, um, I think. Yeah, 10-inch wrench. Um, and I paid £41.90, including the postage. Um, as for these double-headed wrenches, it was quite, I think it was a reasonable price. It was £33.50 on bids for the pair. So it's like £16.50 each. So I thought that was really good. So the total price for all the items plus the big Ingersoll Rand was £236. And the closest winner was Mr Bacon. So well done Mr Bacon at £244. Um, fantastic guest. So let's all give Mr Bacon a round of applause. So there we go, Mr. Bacon, Mr. Raw Bacon, where are you? There you are. So you get two. So well done to you, mate. Absolutely fantastic. So that was some good guessing there. That was a really good guess. That was only um it was only like eight pounds off the total. What is it? 30, so yeah, eight pounds off the total. So really, really good. Uh so yeah, well done to you. Let's move on to the next one, which was that massive bucket of spanners and um, which which i ended up picking a few items for so let's have a look at some of those what came out of that so that was the massive bucket of spanners wrenches which i bought for my mate jim i did pinch some of the bigger sizes jim sorry about that mate so i pinched about 11 but the space where the 11 went i chucked a few extras in for him so if you watch that video you'll see there was a few extra items chucked in and um, so we had um lots of guesses Jim's guess doesn't count because he asked me how much I paid for him and then he guessed the price. Jim, cheating. Right, so um, basically I paid 25 quid for all the items. I did buy some brass stock off my friend, but that wasn't uh, included. Um, so it was I paid 13 total, but 25 was for the wrenches. I thought he was very, very kind to me there. And we've got one winner, 
which is Ian, Essential Handyman. So well done to you, Ian. £25, what a great guess. So if anyone hasn't checked Essential Handyman out, he's got a great channel. Now, there was a previous guest where I missed Ian out. So Ian, there's your mark for the last guest, which which um, which I forgot. Sorry, mate. And then this guest was you the only guest and you're exactly right. So you get three. So you're smashing it now. So he's, he's becoming one of our best guesses with Jack. So well done again to Ian. Thanks to everybody who's managed to get this far in the video. I don't know how you did it. But you did well done big thanks to jim for all the amazing books he sent me i've really enjoyed reading through those and a massive thank you to uh, forrest blythe for swapping um the uh, wonderful uh, handyman tool and a massive uh, thanks to tommy gunn for his amazing stickers so thank you tommy for those really 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 cool i uh, hope you enjoyed this um sort of dare i say it mishmash of of nonsense Right, take care, have a lovely day, bye.